All right, uh, another day in paradise. Uh, going over to the shop right now to do a little work. Um, pulling out some of the wall over there. I've been working on it slowly, doing a little bit every couple days. But uh, I got some packages going out, some magnets. I got one going to New, new Bedford, Massachusetts. I got one going to Phoenix, Arizona. One going to Jersey City and one going to Virginia. I'm not gonna say who they're going to because I don't want to give out people's information like that. It's kind of fucked up, but you pretty much know who you are if I just said the city it's going to. Uh, so yeah, another day living the scrap life. Post office in Longport closed already. So, I guess I'm gonna have to go to Summers Point because that's on the way. But well, that's fine. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, how's it going? Let's try to ship these. I'm gonna keep it in the kitchen for a little bit. They're so small. Is that a problem? Yes. That's right. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta. I got. I can make them bigger than that on like a box like this. How big is the box? I can, I don't know, just make a box. It does have to be a little bit bigger because okay. we yeah. don't want to lose that. Chance. Yeah, yeah. No, all right. Thanks. Have a good So these people are just completely full of shit over here. I'm just going back to the Longport Post Office tomorrow because the guy's just straight up lying to me and telling me that the packages are too small. When I already shipped packages half the size of this and the stickers fit on there perfectly fine. So that guy's just a lazy fucking piece of shit that can't just fucking just put the tape, like, I don't get it. It's just a fucking asshole move when he knows he can ship them. I mean, it is what it is, I guess, but I'm not paying a dollar fifty just for a, a fucking padded bag for each package. It's going to be putting my cost through the roof if I have to ship them all like that. So I'm just going to take them back to the other post office tomorrow and ship them just like I shipped all the other ones. So. This cabinet's got to go. Scrap life. Grill in the trash. Gotta get it. You know what? That still works. It does? It does. I'm just throwing it out because it's rusted and. I'll take it. If that's cool with you. Huh? I'll take it if that's cool with you. Take it, man. It's yours. But like I say, it still works. Alright, thanks, man. Have a good one, dude. Yeah. That guy was cool as shit. Saw me taking scrap from his yard and gave me the heads up that the grill still works fine. He was just throwing it out because he got another one. But uh, I'm probably just going to end up scrapping it because it's in pretty bad shape. But it goes to show you that people uh, don't look down on the scrap life. It's more the cities usually that look down on it because I was just getting that guy's trash out of there before trash day. So he was happy with it. Uh, what's up, uh, YouTube Scrap Gods? Another day in paradise here. It's pretty early morning. It's like before seven, before the sunrise. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee and then hit the scrap game a little here. Uh, peruse the streets here in my in my city because there's a trash day today, and I think I'm gonna beat the trash trucks for sure and uh, see if we can find any gold today before the trash gets taken off the streets. So, we're rolling out now, and we'll see what we can find. Hopefully some good shit. Always gotta stay fueled up for the scrap game. Got my coffee and a fatty donut. So yeah, we're living it. Quick glance at this dumpster. I'd say nothing. Got a tape measure that fell inside of itself. Mm -hmm. 
pair of scissors, a blade, music box type, VCR something. Blu-ray player. Blu-ray disc player. I don't know if it works, but it could be worth more than just scrap. But if not, it's all metal, so. Hangers for days. Back here, gnarly. Look at these McMansions. All in the bay. Got some nice wires out of there and a whole row of this trimmer line. So that's a keep life. This is the kind of shit that you like to see when you're out scrapping. Just a bunch of metal piled up. Tons of different shit. Uh, hanger thing for a closet. There's a bed frame. Tons of good stuff. Umbrella, penguin shit, ski boots, but they're not metal. Some loppers, those are keep life though. American ash, that's good. And then, what do we got in here? Some wire. I don't want to really go through that. Digging a little deeper here. We got this thing. Little African wooden keep life. Look what we got. Two of these pots. Keep life. A metal. Another piece of scrap. Use it with the metal. This metal umbrella. Got this wooden head here, keep life, and then this little uh, Hebrew guy, that's keep life for now. What is this? Boss speaker. Doesn't seem like that's much metal. And that's pretty much it. They got a world map. Picture of this kid. That's it. I think that's all she wrote. That's what you want to come up on. Come up like 10 of those and you're pretty much good for Scrapping for the day, but anything's good, anything. But that was that was a good score. There's a bunch of cool shit, keep life, and then there was a bunch of scrap. So that's what you preferably want. And this thing's cool. There's a, a few things I got out of there that are really cool. So that's when you know trash picking is a little bit substantial around where you, I live. All right, here we go. We just came up on a nice mini fridge. Ooh, it's heavy. And then here's the door to it.
stroller. Nice fan. This is good for the scrap because it has a motor in it there. And then some other pieces. Just regular scrap. Dang. Oh, it's fucking broken. That thing's destroyed. That wire's not worth anything. Couple slices of aluminum right here. Fake Christmas trees. These are always metal usually. So I pretty much hit all the streets that have trash day today, Wednesday, and I got a pretty good haul, I'll show you guys in a minute. But I'm gonna break down the stuff that I can and then probably take it to the scrapyard later today. So we'll be able to see what we can get in a few minutes. So we'll be able to see what I got, how much money I got in a, like less than an hour just hitting the street and scrapping roadside pickups. That's that's the way to do it. So here's what we got. Not tons of stuff, but a substantial amount. Well, the grill was in here from yesterday, but you'll see when I got that. But yeah, I don't know. This load's about $40 broken down, so not a bad morning. And uh, yeah, I think I was killing it today, so take it to the scrapyard later and we'll see what we can actually get for it. All right, here's the load. Added on a few things that I had laying at the shop. But other than that, it was mostly stuff I found today, uh, this morning in the, on the side of the road. So we're rolling out to the scrapyard now and we're looking to get like $40. If like, that would be cool. So let's see what we can get. Just getting to the scrap yard. It's another just beautiful day here. 53 degrees and uh, scrap gods everywhere. Heavy mud factory. But I think they got stone over there to fill this in. I just saw it, so that would be sad. Look at all that fucking aluminum. Both these cans, that whole thing's filled with a clean aluminum and the yellow one's dirty. So much fucking scrap. Now this is an interesting machine. I was wondering how the fuck they take the tires off the rims. Here it is. That thing's fucking crazy. So here we go, 35 bucks. And that's close to what I wanted to get. Light iron's back down to six dollars and fifty cents uh, every hundred pounds, which isn't down; it's up. But it's down from last time I've been here. I got twenty-one dollars because I had three hundred and twenty pounds of that. All right, household cables at fifty cents a pound. Insulated copper wire, a dollar forty. 
electric motors 10 cents a pound sheet aluminum 30 cents a pound aluminum breakage 8 cents a pound cable plugs they're only two cents a pound but you don't want them so you just bring them here and I don't think you can throw them in the trash so they're pretty much doing you a service even paying you soft lead is at 35 cents a pound and uh, 18 by 8 stainless steel is at 25 cents a pound so I got 14 bucks off the non first and 21 dollars off the light iron I'm happy with it I thought I would get around 40 so I got 35 and that's legend status scrap life continues just keeping the scrap life alive here the prices are up from previous months and uh, I think the scrappers are really happy there's a lot of people at the yard today and people are just frothing over the scrap game so if you like what you saw on this video and you want to see some more roadside pickup videos I know you a lot of you people love these videos where I go around and pick up trash off the side of the road I don't really understand why you like them so much but I do understand why it's so I mean I guess I should say I kind of understand why you like these specific videos so much because it's really cool to see just how much stuff people actually throw out and how easy it is to get money off the side of the road but uh yeah if you like what you see please subscribe like comment and just please give me some ideas of what you guys want to see next uh if you guys want to see any kind of like i don't know i think that was a cop but yeah if you guys want to see any kind of like particular videos just say it in the comments give me any ideas you got because uh, I'll pretty much do anything when it comes to scrapping. And I want to do some other shit. So, like, I can't come up with everything on my own. So, if anyone has ideas, just throw them out there.